Hey guys, it's Derek here with another video. Today we're going to be kickstarting my lesson series on the Cobalt Map Editor. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is what you're going to need for this lesson series. First thing you're going to need is a legitimate copy of Cobalt. Now you can get this on their website for what I believe is 10 pounds. The second thing you're going to want to need is a notepad. Now you don't need this notepad, but it's highly recommended for taking notes and planning out your levels. The third thing you're going to want to have is an open mind for learning new things. Fourth and final thing you're going to want to have is basic algebra and logic skills. Stuff that you learned in high school like variables, xy coordinates, and maybe even some if-then statements. So first thing we're going to review is what is the COBOL editor? Well, the COBOL editor, it consists of three editors actually. The map editor, the asset editor, and the galaxy editor. Now for this lesson series, we're going to be only focusing on the map editor. So you may have noticed that if you already own the game that there is an editor button in the main menu. Now this button doesn't work as of version 102 alpha. The way to get to the editor is by first hitting F2. This will take you to the development environment. Once you do this, you'll see on the le top left hand corner of your screen a drop down menu. In this drop down menu will be your buttons to get to all the other editors. The one we want is the map editor. Now you can either click this button or hit F7. Once you do that, you should get to something like this, although there won't be a grid. Let me just turn that off. Once you're in this, this area like this, now you should, you should be ready to go. First let me explain what these drop down menus are. The first one is pretty basic and similar to all the other ones like it in different programs. It's a file drop down menu. It has new, open, save, save as, that kind of stuff. Edit is basically your basic edits like control, um, control copy, control uh, paste, that kind of stuff. Tile, your tile editor, we're not going to get into too much detail about tiles, but this is for this is the drop down menu for your tiles. Again, layers, we're not going to get into too much detail. Locale, not going to get into too much detail in this lesson today, and same with stage. The last one that we are going to look at a little bit is options. Now, options is your uh, different options for the actual editor itself and not the game. We can turn on a mini map of our level, if you see here. We can also take that out. We can hide all the GUI and then put it back. We can turn off sounds, turn off time, different things like that. Now, as you've, if you've been noticing, I've been moving around the map using my mouse. There's different, there is a different way to move around the map, and it's actually quite more effective than just slowly scrolling across the map. If you hold G, you'll enter Go To Mode. Now, Go To Mode is basically the best way to review your map and look at it from a far distance. And you basically zoom out, and this green box is where your screen will be when you release the G. So let's center it on our guy, and we'll go back into normal mode. Now once you're centered with this guy, the next thing we're going to review is the tile, the asset browser. Now this is the asset browser. When you first open it, it will probably won't be selected on anything, but what you want is boxes. Now once you get to the boxes, we're going to select, and any tile will do, but for this one I'm going to choose this one. Now let's recenter it on our guy if you've lost it. Now you might be wondering, well, doesn't it look a little upside down? And that's true. So if we wanted to change it, what we would do is, Hold, if you hold shift and use your scroll wheel, you can rotate. To change the size of anything, if you don't hold shift and just use a scroll wheel, it'll change the size. Now bear in mind that if you make things too large, they'll become unvisually pleasant. Like if you look there, the graphics, or the uh, resolution is pretty low, so it doesn't even look that good. So make sure that you don't change the size too drastically, otherwise you'll end up having a really ugly level. So that was how to change different sizes. Now say we wanted to place this here exactly to it fit. It would be pretty hard unless we turn on a grid. Now to turn on the grid you want to go to tiles and go shift Q. Although you, there's another way. If you hold G you can enter the uh, the menu through, through the screen. And basically what you want to select is the 16 by 16 grid. I like this grid the most because it's the most accurate besides I think there's a no it's the most accurate grid and it just allows for faster level building. So what we want to do then is scale ours up to the original size, which I think was 10. I think it was this, yeah. No, it was this. And we're going to plop it down. Now, after you, we're going to build a simple level, so you can make sure that you're putting down these uh, 
these floors. Now, before you put these down, or if, even if you have put these down, make sure that the bottom here it says in uh, basically grayed out leathers collision. If it doesn't say that, you're going to want to undo by holding Control Z and pressing it a few times, and it may take twice to, to undo one object. And now you're going to want to hold Shift, left click, and then scroll. By doing this, you'll be able to change what uh, layer you're on. And we're going to discuss layers in the next episode. But you, for now, for this entire lesson, I just want you're just going to want to put it on collision. So after we have we have it on collision, go back to your tile assets and grab another and grab the tile. And you can start rebuilding your floor. So after you you have it at the length you want. You can then move on to the walls. To do the walls, just do the same thing and rotate it to the thing, to the uh, side. And now, if you notice here, you can overlap them, although it's usually not the best choice when you're making levels. But for now, I'm just going to do it since it's a tutorial level, anyways. So, we got our walls and roof done. Now look at these corners, they're not too good. So if we wanted to make a corner piece, all you have to do is hold down X and go to ramp. Now this will show all the ramps of the same texture style as those corners. Now let's scale this guy up to the right one we want. Since this is just a tutorial, we don't need to have it so good. So we'll just throw one on like that. Rotate it like here. Throw one down here. Maybe there. So that was a pretty basic look at how to make a level. Now let's test it out. To test out levels in this game, you're going to want to hit F5. Once you do that, this will appear. Now, if you notice, our guy's not there. Sometimes in certain things, it's probably a glitch. You're going to have to go to the main menu and then just hit Escape. As soon as you do that, the guy appears. And you can notice you can jump around and all that, and there's lighting. Now say you've done testing out your level and you want to make a change. All you have to do is hit F7, and you're back in the level thing. Uh, next le lesson, we're going to be talking about layers, uh, and I'm going to go through all the layers and the differences between them. So stay tuned, and if you like this video, obviously like it, and if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe and c comment, and if you have any feedback you want to give me, or you have any questions, just put it in the comments below and I'm sure I'll answer it. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.